Hey everyone and welcome. I'm going to be showing you a few tips and tricks in today's video. I'm going to show you how to manage your office applications with templates. It's a good way to make everything uh, simple so you don't have to save and you mix up by saving in a format that's not supported by Microsoft Office and you just kind of screw yourself over. But I'll show you how to do this in a very simple manner. I'll give you a little uh, idea by right clicking on a desktop, going to create documents and we see one option which is empty file and a dimmed down option called no templates installed which is basically what it says there is no there are no templates currently installed what we're gonna do is actually make a few templates and I'll show you how to actually have this option available to us by going into places we go into the home folder after that we go into the templates folder now what templates are, are basically predefined files for a certain uh, purpose for instance, if you want to write an essay, you can go ahead and predefine that essay in a certain way. And what I'll actually show you how to do this. So go ahead and go into applications, go into your office application, go into Word. Inside here, we can go ahead and just save a blank one so we have it already defined as this. We're going to go ahead and file, save as, and go ahead, go into your home folder, which is denounced by your name, and then go into templates and you can go ahead and save this as blank Microsoft Word and then put .doc go ahead and because we put the extension which is .doc to specify that this is file is going to be specifically a Microsoft Word Office program or file otherwise it would have saved it in ODF which is open document file format which is what OpenOffice uses by default and I'll show you how to change the default as well. But for now, go ahead and just put the .doc at the end of that. Go ahead and press save. Now, when you go ahead and you can see that the templates has a new file in here, and when we right click and we create a new file, we have blank Microsoft Word. Go ahead and put that in, and this is basically a blank file. If I click on it, it opens up a blank file. Now, we can even go into further extent with this by customizing this in a essay format. Now, go ahead and do this real quick, and I'll show you in a second. Actually, let me go ahead and show you how I do this. So we'll go ahead and put the person's name. Go ahead and put the class name. I'm just making this very generic. The teacher's name in here, and then the date. Then we can go ahead and center, put the title here. Uh, go ahead and highlight everything. Go into format, go into paragraph, select line spacing for double. This is all MLA format. And then insert a header, make a default, make it to the right aligned, then insert again, go into fields, and enter the page number. And this is basically the basic uh, format for every essay. So instead of having to put all this stuff in over and over again, you can go ahead and just use this format. For date, actually, I can just go ahead and replace this with the field that says date. And this will actually update every time you uh, open this file. So if you open it in 10 days, it'll be 06, 12, 10, and so on. This is automatically updatable so you don't have to constantly keep track of the date. And we can go ahead and save this. Go, go to File, Save As. Don't save the save because you'll just save over the blank document. Save as a different file. And we're going to go ahead and put SA Microsoft Document or Microsoft Word.dlc. And save. And now again, we have a new option here SA Microsoft Word. Right click, go to Create Document, and there we are. Right clicking here simply opens up a new document. We can name this something like. Uh, some sort of document, Linux, I don't know. And then we open this up, and voila, we have the whole setting as is. And we can constantly do this. We can do this for every single type of file, images. Basically, any file you put in here that can be a template can be accessed from the right click in this area here. So you can have a faster way to do this. Of course, we can also just save this as uh, .odt. So we also have a uh, open office version of it as well. Of course, we'd have to change the name of this to SA Open Office Word, and so on. So now we have different options. We can either make a Open Office uh, document or a Microsoft Word document, and you can do this for everything. You can also do it for PowerPoints, spreadsheets, uh, images as well. If you do it regularly and edit edited images, you can put them in here as well. Uh, video editing and so on, but this is mostly useful for documents. These are basically templates that you use at a constant pace. And one last thing before I go, I'll show you how to actually change OpenOffice to actually save as uh, Word documents by default, Microsoft Word. Go into any OpenOffice window, go into Tools, Options, 
go into okay go into load save you see it like this we'll go into the load save open that up go into general and in here you see always save as go ahead and click on this and go ahead and scroll up one and find the Microsoft Word 97 2000 or XP this is the most compatible one and it's probably the best one so go ahead and click OK and every time you save it it'll automatically save this document as Microsoft Word so you don't have to worry about saving in the wrong format and accidentally giving it to the teacher or to your boss and they can't open it because they don't know about other formats other than Microsoft so that's basically it thank you for watching I hope you found this interesting a uh, very good way to organize yourself and that's basically it. My name is Chris, and I'll see you later.